I think when you talk about a smart city, there are two kinds of tangible outcome. There's the product, the places, the buildings, the infrastructure that's eventually built. But there's also the process, the ways in which decisions are taken. Architecture to date has largely been based on educated guesswork. It's not been scientific. We've had to imagine the future but have no real objective science to show that it will actually ever happen. And as a result, we've seen a lot of failure. My company was built on the failure of seeing housing estate after housing estate fail, new town after new town not deliver the economic and social expectations of it. And then the way in which you deliver that product that works the way you planned it, where the streets are safe, where the streets flow, where the public spaces are vibrant, where the shops turn over, is through a process and that's where the smartness has to come into processes. We need to get out of our silos and work not just together more effectively as professionals where technology can help us plan and organize and get us in the same place at the same time or help us conference across space when we can't all be in the same place at the same time. But it's also about taking the process out the professional world and involving a wider range of stakeholders. And that is not so much about technology, it's about attitude. It's about saying, I'm going to create these designs with the inputs of the experts who are going to end up using the streets and spaces, the everyday experts of the, of the people in cities and the, the, the workers in buildings. I take the word smart and use it as an acronym. I find it helpful for me to remember the process, the S-M-A-R-T. S is about sensing. It's about gathering data, about how people behave about air temperature, about precipitation, about the shape and scale of places. Then the M is about mapping. It's about making that data visual because people respond to maps and they respond to visualized data rather than just spreadsheets of numbers. You can then analyze that, the A. The analysis through statistical analysis, visual analysis, discussion, talking about it. That then allows you to react, that's the R, in SMART. The reaction is whether you're an architect being inspired by that data with a new idea or a policy maker. You've seen the trends and now you can ad adopt the policy. And then the T is about testing your design, testing your policy before you build it. And that's been the big challenge that we haven't in the past been able to really test our ideas without building them. You have to build a building to know how it's going to work. Well, SMART technologies allow you through predictive analytics to test before you build. And that is a revolutionary moment in science. And through that systematic observation of cities, we've been able to generate predictive analytics at Space Syntax that allow us to forecast the future. And that will, we believe, transform planning and design. It'll bring tools and techniques to the pencils of architects and take them beyond guesswork into rigorous and robust forecasting. Thank you.